it's a real live crocodile on the street. No. Yeah, it's the best day ever. After many visits and so much sightseeing, I got a little tired and I wanted to get away from the hustle and fussle of the city and I just found the perfect place, the Everglades National Park. It's just an hour away from Miami and you can see wildlife in their natural habitat. A lot of colorful birds and animals are here and uh, the most interesting thing about this place is that it has live alligators and they can be spotted um, from the visitors routes um, so yeah I'm really excited about seeing them now we're going on a tram ride um, and uh, I hope I can see at least one So in order to access the park, you have to pay a tax, it's $30 per car um, and they give you a map with everything you can find here um, and I want to show you a few animals that you can spot while visiting this place. first alligator I've been here for 10 minutes and I already saw it that's really really cool I'm so impressed now Everglades National Park is our 22nd National Park it became a national park in 1947 when President Harry Truman cut the ribbon up at the Gulf Coast portion of this park Humans are not making these trails, the alligators are making these trails. You can see a great number of them, they're here. Now if you see an alligator that's bigger than uh, maybe seven, eight, nine feet, it's most likely a male. There's only one way to tell the females from the male, you have to flip them over and I will not be doing any of that. picture. This is a great blue heron sitting on top of a palm apple tree. So the way to tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. The alligator are black. Now they look grayish or muddy sometimes because their skin dries out or they've been uh, in the paraphyte and all over the top of them but they are black. Now the crocodiles are a little browner, greenish looking. I 
It's a real live crocodile on the street. No. So that was a real live alligator. I'm sorry for the confusion. And now a real live turtle. So I feel so lucky, I saw a lot of amazing animals today from alligators to um, birds of all sorts and um, even a turtle um, and yeah it's the best day ever. Oh, look at that, he's still here. That's so cool. Yeah, so there are a lot of alligators here. Everywhere you look, you can see one. Um, I spotted at least 50. Um, and yes, it is really interesting to see them in their natural habitat. And the guide told us that um, actually this uh, time of the year is perfect to see them, mostly because it's dry season. And um, we're currently in April. So yeah, I guess it is one of the best times to come here because the water is shallower and you can see them coming up. Um, when the water is more abundant here, um, it seems that they don't really show up or they're harder to spot. So um, yeah, it was a really interesting adventure. I have to admit, I was a little bit scared walking a few centimeters. <laughs> Uh, away from an alligator um, but yeah I'm proud of me <laughs> for doing it <laughs> I was pretty courageous it was really really nice and I definitely recommend it for um, a day in nature also um, if you don't want to take the tram ride you can also ride a bicycle on the trail um, though in my opinion it might be a little bit more dangerous but I don't know, maybe it's just me. Because um, it's my first time uh, seeing alligators in their natural habitat and seeing them so close to me. Tram riding or um, going around on a bike or even walking um, might be a really, really uh, interesting way to pass a day and actually go on an adventure because it's kind of like an adventure. In 